Hey Jolie, it's Karen. I like to do a personalized video for each person that buys the makeup, especially when you get a collection so that you know exactly how to put the palette together and so you know how to use all the colors that you got. So you got an eight pack palette and then these are your colors. You wanna put them in this order. This is Amber, this is Aura, this is Linen, this is your Contour Olive and we flip this over. We have Bella Bronzer, we have Angel Illuminator, we have Frenchie, and we have Hollywood. It's a beautiful palette. So, and you also got the 3D brush, which is a great brush. You can use it for everything. So let's do the application. You're going to love this because for a girl who travels as much as you do, you can throw this in your little pack with your brush, and my dear, you're ready to go. So let's contour first. We're going to take Olive. And I would take the smaller end of that 3D brush, tap into the contour. You wanna come up and push up. So from where the ear starts, push up above or right below the cheekbone. So you're pushing up. We wanna stop where the eye, the middle of the eye is and make sure we're pushing up. What we don't wanna do is pull the line down. Same deal on this side. You can't make mistakes. So if you get too much on, or you look in the mirror and you're like, wow, that shouldn't be there. You can just wave it away. It's clean. Next thing you're going to do is take the contour and you want to come up and you want to contour your forehead. Now, these aren't my colors, but I'm going to use your colors. Contour the forehead. You could also, you've taught this jowls, which you don't have. <laughs> but if you wanted to take away the jowls, you want to come down here. So I'm starting at the base and coming in. You could also take some contour and contour down here. That will help eliminate if you feel like you have a gel. Contouring your nose is optional. If you want to make it smaller, you have a small nose. But if you wanted to make it even smaller, you want to make sure the tighter the lines are, the smaller you make it. And then I would throw a little contour under here. So that's where the contour goes. Quick and easy. Next thing you're going to do is take the big end of the brush. You're going to go into your main highlight color, which is the one up top, which is amber. Tap, tap, tap. Anywhere you don't have contour, you want to put that main foundation color. So remember, we just tap it in. It's very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And the coverage is really up to you. You can put a lot on, you can put a little on. Depends what kind of coverage you want. So that's amber. And then we're going to go into Aura, which is your second highlight color. We call highlight foundation colors, or we call this concealer. Take the small end, go into Aura, come in here to the corner of the eye. So we want to brighten the center of the face. We want to come out here, highlight, highlight. Aura goes here. Aura goes here, a little there, a little there. If you wanted to brighten even more, you could use linen instead. Come in the middle. I would also take either linen or Aura and put it on my eyelids as a base. I have a lot of red on mine. I don't know if you do. Next thing you want to do is pick a lip or cheek. These can be... Either one, can you can do either one. You could just take your finger if you want. This is Hollywood. Tap above the contour. This is gonna be beautiful on you. They're a little on your lips. Then you wanna take the big end of the brush. Let's blend. So we wanna blend, pushing up. You could literally blend it off. So watch when you're blending it, you don't blend it completely away. Pushing up, pushing up. You blend your nose, make sure you indeed blend it. You don't leave any dark spots. And then we're gonna push that contour up. Make sure you get in here, take the smaller end to blend and blend. Actually, I like your colors on. Wow, I like Hollywood. Okay, 
it's that easy. So you could just leave with that, really. Let's do some bronzer in our illuminator. So the Bella bronzer can warm your face up. I would take the big end of that brush, tap into my bronzer. Any place you want to add some sun, a little glow. You see how that immediately warms me up. Where the sun would hit is where you want to put the bronzer. And then to be honest with you, since you travel, I would use a small end and just go into the bronzer. You could just quickly add a little bit to the eye, like an eyeshadow. Right? Pretty. That's just an option, but it makes it nice. Final thing, illuminator. This is beautiful. You're just going to take your finger, go right above where the blush was, just to add some glow. Little glow. You can add to the lips, to your nose. I could take my illuminator and come up here above that bronzer to make a little eyeshadow. And voila. It's that simple, my dear. So let me know if the colors don't match. Your if you put amber on and it's too light, let me know. You might be closer to sandy or mango. Um so let me know immediately and then we can, you have 30 days, we can switch out the color. They can, they'll send you something as opposed to the amber. But amber might be fine, but you seem a little darker. So I'm thinking you might be mango. Um, but anyway, let me know, I'm here for you. So that's how you apply it. It's that quick, it's that easy. Thank you for trying the makeup. You are going to love it. It's gonna be a game changer. It's that quick, it's that easy.